cruising up the river, wildlife officer Jeff Robertson is on the lookout See that? for anything that might ruin a perfect day. Well, we're here to make sure everybody's being safe uh, while, while enjoying the Boomsday fireworks and the festivities downtown. On the final Boomsday, that means a constant patrol looking for kids under 12 without life jackets, broken running lights, and boaters violating the no wake zone past downtown. It's so congested, we don't want people running through here a uh, lot open. 16 people have died in boating accidents so far this year, and Robertson would like to keep that number down. That's why they perform these safety checks, talking to people like Brandon Tegethoff. We'll see people just driving erratically or coming close to us that really shouldn't be. He's got everything he needs, so no issue, but he's still happy to see the enforcement. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, no one wants to get hurt out here. We're out here for fun. TWRA says the best thing you can do, make sure the driver is sober and wear a life jacket. You know, wearing the life jacket is always going to be your, your number one uh, defense against a fatal boating accident. Most people that die in boating accidents drown. Most people that drown aren't wearing a life jacket. It's the law for anyone under 12 and not a bad idea for anyone older, which is why Robertson rewards that behavior for these young men. It's they get free ice cream coupons. <laughs> I tell mom and dad if they wear their life jackets, they'll get free ice cream too. <laughs> In Knoxville, Michael Crow, 10 News.